Boulder City woman rode into the rant to thank a good Samaritan for giving her a ride home when she was in some danger. Her story really touched our hearts here at Fox 5. Rather than just showing what she wrote, Fox 5's Christopher Redfern tracked her down, and he's live in studio tonight to tell her heartwarming story. So a few nights ago, Shalia Oliver and her service dog Marlo, they had walked down to her local corner store. She says she's never had issues before, and it's a nice way to stretch the legs. But this night was different. I was really scared at first. I was assuming since I do live in a kind of OK neighborhood and um, my, I had my dog with me, so I felt that I could go down to the store and go back home without any problem. But it started in the checkout line. Shalia says a drunk guy started bothering her and her service dog, Marlo. So he continued to try to pet him, try to play with them. So I felt uncomfortable, so I kind of moved him out the way. A rescue from the Henderson Animal Shelter, Marlo helped Shalia with her anxiety. He's as sweet as he can be, but when he's out with Shalia, he's on the clock and off limits. But it wasn't clicking with the drunk guy bothering her, and it only escalated when he started following her down the street on a bike. He's saying, yeah, your dog tried to bite my dog, and um, I'm going to file a lawsuit and all following me all the way home. Shalia says she was terrified as the belligerent man berated her. Then a good Samaritan, a woman named Debbie, intervened as she was driving by. She kind of slowed down, and then she rolled her windows down, and I I screamed to her. I said, help, help me, please. This guy's harassing me and he's following me home. Debbie commanded the man to leave Shalia alone and for the two of them to get in her car for safety. When I first got in the car, Debbie asked me instantly, are you OK? Are you hurt? You know, I said, yeah, I'm fine. And I was um, uh, very anxious. So she seen that in my voice and she was like, it's OK, calm down. Um, I'm going to make sure you get home safely. The two waited until the man left so he couldn't follow her home. And just as quickly as Debbie saved the day, she dropped Shalia off and left without asking for anything in return. Shalia says she hopes to meet Debbie again to tell her. I appreciate you and thank you so much for getting me home safely that night. Shalia did end up filing a police report. Always a good idea to call 911 in a situation like this. But as we head into the weekend, let's be thankful for the Debbies in the world, especially when we need them most. Live in studio, Christopher Redfern, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.